Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if it's your first time here, then I'm so glad you've joined me. Today we are talking about all of my favorite fall, winter, and holiday candles. There are literally dozens of candles in front of me. This is going to be a long video. We are going to talk about candles at all price points, of all different scents, all different kinds, for all different tastes. So you should probably grab a snack or a drink, and let's get into it. This look is about as wintry as I could get because surprise, it is 90 degrees here in LA today. It's very warm, I'm already hot, but spiritually and emotionally, I am an ice queen for the day. All of the details for this look will be in the description box. So we are going to start at the lower end of the price point and work our way up. And the first place that I'm going to start is Bath & Body Works. I mean, Bath & Body Works do classic candles and you cannot deny it. They deliver on their scents, they are widely accessible, they're easy to shop for, and they have really cult classic favorites that people love. And even though their three wick candles are $25, their single wick candles are $14.50, they do sales all the time and that's kind of the only time I actually buy their candles is because the sales are so good. So I highly recommend holding out for the sales if you can. So the first candle I'm going to mention is Pumpkin Apple by Bath & Body Works. And this is in their white barn line, which comes with this monochrome packaging and the gold lid and the gold design. I feel like this is the nicest packaging that Bath & Body Works does. They often bring out the same scent in different designs. And the white barn line, I feel like just looks the most expensive and the most high end. So Pumpkin Apple is a really nice fragrance if if you like pumpkin but you don't want to go all the way into pumpkin spice latte land and you also want something a little bit fresh. It has um, the lightness and the, the kind of freshness that the apple note brings but it still has the creaminess of the pumpkin and there's also a, definitely a spice note in there like a cinnamon and clove so it's almost like, like a mulled cider with lots of spices, meats, like a pumpkin cream. So it kind of hits all of those notes without being too heavy or overly sweet. The next one is Vanilla Birch, and I really love this one. I think this is very much a crowd pleaser because it's not an obvious scent. Like it's not an obvious holiday scent, not an obvious fall scent, but it fits that mood. It has the vanilla note, so it has a really creamy, soft quality to it. So it has the creaminess and the kind of warmth of the vanilla note, but it's not super sweet. It's not a really sweet vanilla because it's balanced by the birch note. And even though it has a woodsiness, it's not quite as intense as like a sandalwood woods note. The birch is a little bit lighter, a little bit fresher. And I find that this scent overall is a little bit more subtle and it kind of blends into the atmosphere a little bit more than something like pumpkin apple, which is very obviously a fall scent. This still has the cozy notes of fall and winter without being so heavily themed. The next one that I love, I've gone through so many of these, is Cranberry Woods. Now this has the fresh, tart, zesty note of cranberry, but it's not purely a fruity candle. It is balanced by the woods note, it has that that kind of earthiness and a bit of groundedness that balances out the tart freshness of the cranberry. To me, this is a perfect fall into winter candle because it has the woodsy notes that fall evokes and then it brings in the light freshness of cranberry and it makes you think of holiday cooking and cranberry sauce and cranberry desserts. So it takes you sort of transitionally between seasons, but it is ultimately a pretty light and fresh kind of scent. It's not the kind of scent that's going to make your house feel heavy. It's actually like a bright mood lifter. Then I have the iconic Marshmallow Fireside, which evokes exactly what you would think. It makes you feel like you're sitting by a fire on a cold winter's night, roasting marshmallows, and you get that kind of burnt, toasty marshmallow note, and it has the smokiness and that that fireside smell, and it's all very comforting. It's definitely a sweeter candle. It has that gourmand dessert kind of note that comes from the marshmallow, but I do think the smokiness and that fire 
air side kind of smell prevents it from becoming too sickly sweet. But this is definitely an after dinner candle. It's the kind of candle that makes me crave a treat, a sweet treat or like a holiday dessert. So just be aware of that. And the last Bath and Body Works candle is Fresh Balsam. This is actually probably my favorite Bath and Body Works candle. I love a pine smell. I love that true Christmas tree kind of sharp pine and this definitely delivers on that. It's not like a super complex pine note but it, it evokes a Christmas tree. It makes you feel like you're walking through a Christmas tree farm on a cold winter's day and I find that this is a really quite strong candle and I love when my house is filled with the smell of pine and there's just something so comforting to me about that and I feel like the scent is so strong in this, like the throw is really, really good. There are other higher end holiday candles that are my favorite, but at this price point, this is definitely my favorite December, Christmas, holiday season candle at Bath & Body Works. Obviously, it would be remiss of me not to discuss candle safety, so I just wanna say, and I'm sure we already know this, but do not leave your candles burning unsupervised. Make sure you blow out your candles before you leave the house, double check. And another thing that we can do that I think a lot of people forget is to trim your candle wicks. So between burns, it really helps to trim your candle wicks down and there are wick trimmers. I'll link one of my favorites down below. And what this does is it prevents the candle from burning too hot and it prevents the flame from getting too big. And when the flame is too big or too hot, that's when a candle can risk combusting or catching fire to nearby objects. Of course, don't leave your candles burning around flammable objects or children, all of that stuff. I just wanna make sure we're being responsible candle owners and burners, and I really wanna reiterate that in this video. So moving into the $30 price range, I am really excited to talk about Otherland. So Otherland is a new-ish brand. They're a couple of years old, I think. And I just love the entire experience of the brand. They've just done such a fabulous job. I spoke about them in my Sephora fragrance video, but I'm going to speak about them again. So every Otherland candle comes in this beautiful box. It is such an unboxing experience. And for that reason, I feel like they make really perfect gifts. So this is a $36 candle. I think it's around eight ounces. It's a single wick and you get a magnetic tab in the box here, which opens up and it like unfolds beautifully. There's a note from the founder on the box itself. And then each box has this beautiful artwork on this like gorgeous printed paper. And they have limited edition collections and each of their collections has different artwork. So the artwork is like a little lid that comes off the box. And in the box, you get the candle itself, which has a lid, it's a glass vessel. And then you get a box of printed matches that say Otherland and it's branded and it's just so cute and it's so pretty. And every time you open the box, it's kind of like, what is it? Like it, it gives you this like excitement and wonder and drama really. So I feel like these make really great hostess gifts. They make great holiday gifts. Um, I've gifted them a bunch for all different occasions and people always love them. So the first candle that I will mention is the one that I just opened and um, I keep it in the box even though I've burnt it because I like the box so much. So this is Rattan and this is from their permanent collection. So it has that classic sandalwood scent but there's also something very warm and kind of like sun drenched and slightly creamy and it's a beautiful summer into fall into warmer cozier scents kind of candle personally this is something i burn year round i think it's very appropriate for the home in all rooms because sandalwood is kind of unisex but it's not so masculine like it's not a really um cologne kind of sandalwood it still has that levity and that warmth and that coziness that fills a room i do think otherland candles in the world of candle fragrance tend to be on the side subtler side. And you know, some people complain about that, but I think that is actually nice to have sometimes. Like sometimes you want to light a candle for the ambiance, but people are fragrance sensitive 
or you just don't want a really, really intense fragrance. You just want something that's going to lightly evoke some sort of ambiance. And I do think Otherland does that really well. There are other candles from them that I'm going to talk about that are a bit stronger and others that are a bit softer. So I just think it depends on your candle tastes, honestly. I also find that the Otherland candles have a really great burn time. I think their eight ounce candle is between 40 to 50 hours. So yeah, you're definitely getting a quality experience and like a brand experience with their candles. I have three candles candles from their Homestead collection, which is their fall collection that I specifically want to talk about. So the first is Velvet Persimmon, and this is my favorite Otherland candle I've ever smelled. This is on the stronger side of fragrance. It is juicy and fresh and sweet, and it makes your mouth water. It has notes of juicy persimmon, velvety leaves, and mulled cider. So it has that cider and persimmon note. Um, I also get almost a bit of like pear. Yeah, there's like almost a pear note. I don't know why that is. Maybe that's like kind of evocative in the cider note. I'm not quite sure, but it's definitely on the sweeter side. It is balanced by the woods, but it is absolutely like a juicy, fresh, yummy candle. Everyone who has smelled this candle, like Anyone in my family, Sean, everyone wants to know what this candle is because it smells so incredible. It's just one of those things that's striking and kind of unique. And I find the notes to be pretty unique in here. So I do think this is very much a crowd pleaser and it's my favorite of the Homestead collection and of Otherland, period, that I've tried so far. Then I have Woodlands from the Homestead collection and this has notes of Palo Santo, Redwood Bark, and Smoked Vanilla. If you like rattan, you will like this. It definitely has the woodsy note. It's almost a little bit slightly more unisex and masculine than rattan even. Because there's that Palo Santo, it's, there's like a slight smokiness to it, but there's also like a creaminess and a roundness that the vanilla gives it. So I would say this is about a medium strength of fragrance. And it's also a really nice fall winter candle because it has those cozy, earthy notes, but it's not an obvious themed candle. And the last Otherland candle is Berkshire's Granola, and this has notes of creamy oat milk, toasted granola, and pumpkin seed, which is so yummy. I do wish the fragrance and the throw on this candle were a bit stronger. For me, this is like a smaller room candle, like a bedroom candle more than a living room candle. I did find myself wanting the scent to be a bit stronger and a bit richer, but I still am really enjoying it once I transitioned it to a smaller room and I could really kind of soak it in. I also think, you know, there are people who want a slightly softer candle but want the candle experience, and I think if you're fragrance sensitive and you don't like those heavier scents, this is definitely something for you. The last thing I'll say about Otherland is just that the artwork on these is amazing. Like every Every vessel is uniquely designed. It has its own special label as well as its own unique lid, even within the same collection. And so there's something about this that's just very aesthetically pleasing, not only pleasing to the senses, but it's pleasing visually. And obviously when you're in the $36 price point in the mid thirties, you want not only the candle to be nice, but you also want the candle experience overall. You want your senses to kind of be captivated in all ways. And I think Otherland really, really gets it right when it comes to that. Otherland just released their holiday collection a couple of days ago, and I really want to try some of the fragrances for some of the candles from that collection. There's Fallen Fur, which was from their last collection, which I think is kind of a classic pine tree smell, but there are a few blends this year that sound super interesting, so I'll link those below. I definitely want to check those out. The next candle brand in the 30s price range is Boy Smells. Now, I don't have as many Boy Smells candles. I have three of them, but this is definitely among the three the most wintry candle. This is Slow Burn, and it was designed in collaboration with Casey Musgraves, like the name of her song. The box is a 
beautiful ombre. It goes from light pink into this like smoky maroon. And that ombre effect is mirrored in the vessel itself. So the vessel itself goes from light to deep and it has this beautiful metallic label on it with all of the notes. So slow, slow burn is such an interesting candle. It has notes of incense, black pepper, Elamai, Elamai, Gayak, Raspberry, Tonka, Amber and Smoked Papyrus. It's a coconut, coconut and beeswax blend. It's an 8.5 ounce candle, so slightly bigger than the other land candles. And um, this is a brand new one. I haven't burned this one yet, but I've burned it before. This is not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. It's very smoky and dark and sultry and sexy. It's not exactly like a themed fall or holiday candle, but it's a very wintry scent. It's the kind of thing you wanna light on like a cold night and it's sort of like unisex for sure. It almost has that like incense cologne kind of note but it's it's just so mysterious like it's made mysterious by the addition of tonka and uh raspberry and papyrus like there's all of these notes that you that don't seem obvious but that do overall make the scent experience more complex and i find that's true with boy smells candles in general like they always have like a dozen different notes and i can probably actually smell like like identify three or four of them but i do think that the addition of all of these other fragrances and their blends makes them so complex and so unlike other candles like their their fragrance blends don't seem to mimic anything else really on the market so if you want a really interesting and kind of stimulating candle experience i do think boy smells really delivers on that as well as the packaging i mean it's stunning boy smells also just released a holiday collection that looks incredible like it has all of their candles are like 12 notes all very mysterious like you almost can't imagine what their candles smell like until you get them and that's part of the allure and the mystery and i think the excitement of boy smells is that nothing is very very straightforward so i definitely think i'm going to pick up one or two from their holiday collection and i will link that below so moving into the 40 dollars price range you know i had to have an entire section for all of my favorite nest candles because nest makes some of my favorite like all-time favorite candles. Let's start with their fall candles. First up, I have pumpkin chai, and pumpkin chai is a really creamy but kind of spicy pumpkin candle. It has that straightforward, like classic scent, but this is what Nest does best, is they take a classic scent and they make it elevated and interesting and they added an element of surprise that you didn't expect, and it's like the best form of that classic scent like they extract the best thing about that and make it so pure and even better somehow. So pumpkin chai has the iconic pumpkin note, but it has that a bit of creaminess and the chai note brings forward those spices and it's just really comforting and it's not too sweet. I find that some pumpkin candles and pumpkin scented things overall can be a little bit too sweet, like candy sweet, and this isn't like that at all it really doesn't verge into a sugary note at all. By the way, this candle is a great example of do what I say, not as I do, because I didn't trim the wick on this candle. It got too hot, and you can see it got smoky around the edge of the vessel. And that is an indication that the wick was too long, that I didn't trim it down short enough, and so it got too hot, too smoky, and you can see its effects on the vessel. I mean, nest vessels are super sturdy, even though that's happened. Like I've never had one of their um, glasses like break or anything like that while I'm burning it. So um, this definitely stood up well, but this is exactly why you need to trim your candle wicks. Next we have Autumn Plum, and this is a newer release that they released earlier this fall. And Autumn Plum is such an interesting candle. By the way, this is what the nest boxes look like. They all have different graphics, like geometric graphics, and they're quite classic, but the color stories are interesting and bold, and the vessels are all different colors. So this is Autumn Plum. This is a new one. Um, I have one that I've been burning. 
So Autumn Plum is so interesting and it's really unlike any other candle that I've smelled before. It has the base of plum, which is like dark and juicy, but then it has the addition of this woods note and it, it actually leans quite unisex. It has this like woodsy leaf, autumn leaves kind of note, like you're walking through a forest and so it's very grounded. And so you get this combination of like a plummy base with earthy leafy notes and it's just so intriguing and kind of a mysterious scent. The description says wild plum and cinnamon are wrapped in the warmth of patchouli leaf and cashmere wood to capture the sweet woody aroma of freshly fallen autumn leaves. So yeah, it's definitely like woods forward, and, but it has that warmth of the cashmere and the, the deep fruitiness of plum. So yeah, it's just a really interesting candle. And if you don't like, you know, the pumpkins and the apples and those scents in fall fragrances, I think you would like this. So then let's get into the Nest Holiday Collection, which is just my favorite. Nest does holiday so well because their ability to take classic notes, nostalgic notes, and turn them into something elevated and complex, like they do that so well in the holiday collection. So first up, I have Blue Cypress and Snow, which comes in this beautiful silver and blue um, embossed box. It has this like metallic stripe. It's, it's just beautiful. And the vessel itself has silver stripes going down and like this gorgeous design. It's stunning. These are their single wick candles. By the way, they're 8.1 ounces and they're $42, but they often do 20% off sales on their websites or their nest is carried at a lot of retailers. So you'll see them on sale pretty frequently. This is a newer fragrance in their holiday collection. It has um, the blue cypress note. So it has that woodsy scent, but it also has this really yummy, creamy vanilla, almost like not quite sugary, but evocative of like a sugar cookie vanilla. It doesn't go into like the sickly sweet at all because it's really balanced by the woods note, but it's just a soft, cozy, yummy kind of candle. So this says the aroma of a snow covered mountain retreat in winter is created by combining crisp alpine evergreen, juniper berry, and hints of smoked vanilla bean. Yeah, it is smoked vanilla bean. That's what I mean, it's that yummy vanilla, but it's not too sugary, it's not candy-like, it has that smokiness. So I am really loving this one. I've been burning it even though it's quite warm. <laughs> I've been burning it since October and I really like it. Next up is Birchwood Pine, which comes in a box that looks like this. It has these different shades of green and gold. It's just, it's so beautiful. It's like wrapping paper, like really classic wrapping paper. So this is the three wick version of Birchwood Pine. And this one is 21, 21.1 ounces. So I think this retails for 68 or $72 up from 42, but it's almost like triple, almost triple the size, definitely more than double, like 2.5 times the size of the other candle. These burn forever and they will last you the entire holiday season. And the throw on nest candles is so good. Like even the eight wick candle will fill my open concept house. It's incredible. And they're very pure and like sharp fragrances. Birchwood pine, is so beautiful. It's just that classic pine scent. I mentioned in the winter, that's the scent I crave the most is like fresh pine. The scent story is that the aroma of a majestic winter forest is created by blending white pine, fir balsam, and birchwood over a base of rich musk and amber. I do think the addition of the musk and the amber, those notes kind of elevate this from being a straightforward fresh balsam scent like the Bath and Body Works one. It elevates that note and turns it into something more experiential and more interesting and definitely more luxurious. It's it smells more expensive and it definitely feels more expensive. The next one is the Nest Holiday Candle, which you know probably by now is my favorite, all time favorite holiday candle. It looks like this, it comes in the gold vessel and the box looks like this. It's very classic, 
Christmas colors, that red and gold, and definitely looks like expensive wrapping paper. So this to me balances everything that I like about winter, about December, about Christmas, about the holidays. It is quite pine forward. When I burn it, that's the most prominent note I get, but it's almost a little bit fresher. It's definitely fresher and a little bit sharper than birchwood pine. Birchwood pine's kind of a rounder wood note, and this actually has notes of cranberry and I think, um, what is it? I'll just read you the scent story. The aroma of a sparkling holiday season is created by blending pomegranate, that's what I was looking for, mandarin orange, pine, cloves, and cinnamon with a hint of vanilla and amber. I do think the pine is the top note, and then it's supported by the sharpness of the fruits, but it's not a fruity candle. It just kind of makes it lighter. And then there's that base of spices and the vanilla, and it's not a creamy vanilla at all. It just makes the whole candle a little bit warmer. To me, it's perfection. It's what I crave. It's like burned into my scent memory year after year, and it just makes me really happy. Like whenever I light this candle, I associate it with all of the happy smells and feelings and tastes, and it's what I wanna smell on Christmas morning. The last of the holiday collection is Hearth, which is definitely the smokiest, the sexiest, and the most mysterious of the candles. So it comes in this beautiful, like deep chocolate vessel with the gold embossing, and the packaging of course, of course matches as well. So this is most akin to um, the Boy Smells Slow Burn candle that I mentioned. It has that oud note. It has the sexiness, like the smokiness that a hearth evokes. And it's definitely like a sultry, nighttime, midnight kind of candle. It says, the aroma of a wintertime fire is created by combining rich oud wood with frankincense and hints of smoky embers. Definitely smoky, definitely dark, and it's less spicy than boy, uh, the Boy Smells Slow Burn candle. That one has more like incense -y, spicy notes. This one is more of um, kind of that classic oud, kind of heavier, sultry, dark note. I don't think this candle is for everybody. If you don't enjoy that like unisex woodsy oud note, you won't like this. But for people who do, this is kind of like the ultimate oud experience. My last candle in this edit is by Overrose and it is the Valkyria candle. This is in the $60 range. I can't remember if it's 62 or 68. It's not cheap. But they are sold at Sephora. They do go on sale with the Sephora sale, which is kind of nice to have. Now, Valkyria, not everyone would categorize as a fall or winter candle, but I do because I find the notes to be quite um, transitional. So the notes are fig leaves, vineyard peaches, cocoa milk, and cedar wood. And honestly, I smell the cocoa milk, the cedar wood, and the fig leaves much more than the peaches. And the peaches might be what feels like a slightly summery note, but I actually find that the woodsiness and the creaminess and the figginess of this candle make it a really nice fall scent. I mean, honestly, it's a year round scent. It's, it kind of goes in any room in any mood. This is what the candle looks like. They come in their iconic vessels with the labels, the pink vessels as well as holographic vessels. And the holographic ones are a couple bucks more expensive. But this is just, to me, like a year rounder. Like this is an iconic scent. It's what my I want my house to smell like all the time. But I do think the woods notes and that kind of cedar, cocoa, fig note, it translates well into fall and winter, and I think because I know there are people out there who don't want their house to smell like a dessert, or they don't want their house to smell like a tree, but they want their house just to smell nice, this is a really nice scent that translates across all seasons, honestly. 
So that is everything for my fall and winter candle edit. I would love to hear what your favorite candles are and if there's anything that you think I would love or that I should try. There are definitely others that I've had my eye on, more luxury candles like the Diptyque Holiday Collection and a few other ones that I've yet to try. But I am thinking about maybe doing a part two for holiday specific candles because I really wanna pick up the ones by Otherland and Boy Smells, maybe a D Diptyque one if I'm feeling bougie, we'll see. But if there's anything that you're like, okay, Becca, you have to try this candle, knowing what you know about me now based on this video, let me know in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Bye.